Hi, and thanks for joining us for our Love Your Home Renovation Tip of the Week, brought to you by Multi-Trade Building Services. I'm your host, Jackie Stezik, and I'm the Project Manager and Marketing Director. Each week, we bring you tips about general renovations, kitchens, bathrooms, interior design, and more. So be sure to check back every week. This week, we're going to be talking about shower curtains and shower doors. You'll see in the photo that we have here at the left, this is a bathroom that we did for our clients in Curtis. They had a custom glass enclosure made for their five foot wide walk-in shower. This one at the front had a fixed panel from floor to ceiling, then a hinge shower door that didn't go all the way to the top so it could let the steam out, then a fixed panel door on the right. And then at the side wall, they had just a half knee wall and then a fixed glass panel there. This is certainly one option that we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, you don't always have to have a, sh a shower door. We can even talk about tub doors. So you have a tub and you've got a couple of options available to you. You can certainly put a, a shower curtain up, but tub doors are a great option for bathtubs. And you know, there's so many innovative options out there that nowadays can really add to the decor. I remember growing up and it was a huge big deal when my mom and dad got a, a sliding glass shower door. And it was of course the framed one with the track on the bottom and the track at the top and you could never keep those horrible things clean. Nowadays, you can have the frameless ones. And even if you have a framed one, which is somewhat like this one, look at how that matte black finish adds to the decor of the bathroom. Tub doors have really come a long way. This one's a double slider, so it has two panes of glass that slide across each other, but they even have them that are three panes of glass and two of those panes slide over, which allow you a much larger opening to get in and out of the tub. Tubs are typically five feet wide, and therefore you can get tub doors that are purchased online or in big box stores. Now you'll see the one in the picture here is one that's available, I believe it's through either Lowe's or Home Depot. And this is a frameless one, so it doesn't have that horrible track on the bottom. Look at how clean this looks. In contrast to that previous one that we looked at, let's just take another quick glance here. This one had trim around it that added to the decor. It was part of that matte black finish and it really was part of the look. This one is just a nice, clean, clear glass finish. It has the rollers at the top and those just simply are where it slides back and forth, but it's all clear glass. It's just the equivalent of getting a frameless shower door. These are great. And as long as your tub is that standard five foot, you can easily buy inexpensive ones through Costco, Home Depot, Lowe's, Rona, Wayfair, all those kind of places have them. Now, shower doors. They are very available and extremely affordable, provided you have a standard sized opening. Certainly for a five foot wide opening, you can get these practically anywhere. Lowe's again, Home, Lowe's, Home Depot, Wayfair, Costco, all these places have them. And look, there's that matte black finish again. It is a frameless one and just has the roller bars at the top, but has some decorative finishes on it. Really adds to the decor of this bathroom. Look at the shower controller and shower head. They're all in the matte black. Even the light fixture, the sconces are matte black. The faucets are matte black. The hardware on the vanity is matte black. So having the matte black trim on your shower doors, again, really adds to the decor. You can order these online, have them shipped to you. You could even go it well, when COVID's over, you can certainly go to the stores and purchase them there. So they're very available and can be very affordable to buy these. Glass shower doors do allow for a much more open look because the glass can be on the sides as well. So contrary to this one that we looked at, this is a built-in shower. It's only got the glass on the front. However, with this one, it's more open and there's glass on two sides. So only two walls are tiled two walls have the glass. This really allows for a much more open look. Or in the case of this particular shower, again, matte black framing and decor throughout the, the glass shower so that that adds to the decor of the room itself. Now, this is that same picture that I showed you at the beginning of our clients in Curtis that we did the bathroom for. This shows you a fuller look of that shower. So remember I said the left-hand side at a fixed panel, then the hinge door, then a fixed panel, and then another fixed panel on top of that um, half knee wall. Look at how clean that looked is. 
Of course, if you are going for a custom shower enclosure, the options truly are endless. You can put any combination of glass together that you wanted. This one was nice and clean, frameless. There's only the, the chrome hardware that they had on it. Otherwise, everything is just attached with silicone or the hinges, of course, for the, the door itself to get into the shower. But it really, really opens up the space, makes it look nice and airy and spacious and very clean looking with the clear glass. Now, custom glass enclosures also will allow for any size of shower. This is a, a, a bathroom renovation that we did for our clients in North Oshawa. And we had lots of space to put this shower in and it is six foot four inches wide. So again, we did a very, very similar glass enclosure and we had the knee wall at the left hand side with a fixed panel on top, two fixed panels in front and again, a hinged door. So a custom, when you go to custom glass enclosures, the, the possibilities are endless. You can do absolutely anything you like. Now, you can also opt for the European style of a shower with just one fixed pane of glass and open at the end. This is a really cool one that we found from Dreamline where it's got that smoky black glass on the bottom and then clear on top and it, it is attached with uh, a little bit of decor with the black mat. This is kind of cool. Now, if you're thinking of something like this, I have to warn you. We did this for a client of ours out in Ashburn. And this was a number of years ago, probably four or five years ago. The family traveled a lot and they had something like this that they, they stayed at different European hotels. And th this is very big in Europe where they have the one pane of glass, no door to get into the shower and that's it. So they decided to do that in their home in their daughter's bathroom. Well, the very next day after the daughter used it for the first time, they're calling me and saying, can you get in here as quickly as you can and put some kind of heater inside of that shower? Lucy's complaining about how cold it is. Well, think about it when you're in the shower. If you've got shower doors right now, or even if you've got a tub and you're having a shower in there and that tub door opens up a little bit, or if you've got a shower curtain and that shower curtain opens a little bit, you get that rush of cold air coming in. The same thing happens with this. When you've got that hot water pouring down on you, you've got this lovely shower, cold air is coming in to that open section where you've only where you've only got that one pane of glass it's not going to be a pleasant hot shower you're going to get a fair bit of cold air in there so although this is a really sleek really neat look be prepared for that and if you're okay with having just a single pane like that all the more power to you but I just want you to be aware that it could get a little chilly in there with the cold air coming in especially in the winter now let's talk about curtain rods too, because honestly, although the rage is going with shower doors and tub doors, curtain rods absolutely have their place. And of course, there's two different types of curtain rods that you can do. You can do the straight curtain rods like the one in the top photo or a curved shower rod like what you see in hotels. These can be appropriate for tubs or showers. I always encourage our clients if they're going with curtain rods to go with the curved shower rods because it just gives you more space inside of that shower or tub without actually taking up more square footage or more land value, let's say, in your bathroom. The nice thing about curtain rods is they can truly add to the decor of the room and they're very simple. They're inexpensive to put up. They're simple. You get tired of that curtain, you want something different or jazz it up a little bit, you can easily switch it out and it's not a big investment in money. The cloth ones, you can even take those down and wash them. And then the vinyl part of it, well, that's easy too. You just wash that too. Maybe not in the washing machine, but you can still easily wash those and then hang them up to dry. You can even get curved curtain rods as doubles and in different finishes. So you see this one, the one that's closest to the shower portion is the one that has the vinyl curtain. And then you've got that other one that's in front that has the decorative cloth one. So it really gives you a nice look. This one happens to be in the oil rubbed bronze, but they even have them in chrome, brush nickel, black matte, black matte. There's all kinds of options. So don't, don't, just, don't go away from shower curtain rods until you've actually thought about it and decided for sure you don't want them because they really can add to the decor in a room. So if you'd like to see more examples of shower tub enclosures, check out our projects. Just go to our website at www.multitradebuildingservices.com and click on projects. 
and you'll see lots more of our bathroom renovations where we've done shower and tub enclosures there. Thanks so much for joining us this week for your Love Your Home Renovation Tip of the Week. Feel free to reach out to us by phone at 905-259-3344 or you can send us an email at info at multitradebuildingservices.com. Thanks for joining us and I hope you'll join us next week again as we help you learn to love your home.